Hey guys, Jeff here, and today I had a uh, surprise package show up. One of my early lock sport friends goes by Jakuka. He uh, he has a YouTube. He doesn't really do lock sport on it, but I'll probably still link it up there. There we go. But uh, he had texted me the other day and asked if my address was still the same. So of course I let him know. Yeah, you've got my address. And this showed up just a few days later. So I started to open it up, remembered who this is, the kind of guy he's been, and thought, well, let's discover together what's inside. All right, so straight off the bat, I am seeing puzzles. Apian Way. Four-star difficulty level. I am curious. Hmm. Not sure what you have to do. Probably... Oh, goal. Shape the chain into a cube. That'll be fun. I might even have to try to do a puzzle-solving video, much like uh, the lock-picking cuber, who I saw is active again. Shout-out to the lock-picking cuber. But wait, we also have, these both seem to be from a company called True Genius, Mosaic Tile, again difficulty level of 4, disassemble the puzzle and put it back together. I haven't done a puzzle video before, so I don't know if I want to even mess with these until I get a chance, although my batteries are always dying, so who knows, maybe I'll play with one of them. Don't know which one, but play with one of them and then maybe try to do a video on the other, depending. But these are definitely some fine looking puzzles, and I can also see, especially with my love of Rubik's Cubes, why he would send something like this to me. Let's see what we got next. Hmm, this says motor power adapter, and I have a hard time believing that's what's inside. Ah, some Christmas goodies. Bet my wife will be happy to see this. Elijah's Gems and Sweets Pumpkin Spice Bread, along with some chocolates, and I have a feeling that at least one of those would end up with my wife. Hmm, big or small, big or small, let's just work our way down. Definitely, it loves to reuse some boxes. And there we go, some lock, a padlock. Um, not really sure what I'm looking at, because the key, as you can see there, if there's not too much of a glare, is completely flat on that side. Is it, is it a dimple on the other side? I can't get, I guess maybe if I do that. Ah, sliders. A slider padlock. I have one other slider padlock that I haven't gotten yet, but there's some extra pressure from Jakuka because he's good at getting unique locks for me. But uh, that, that keyway though confused me because I saw that and I thought it might be dimples and I can kind of see something sticking down in there. So that will definitely be a fun little challenge. I say that, and then I realize I've got some other locks from him that I really need to spend some more time with to figure out. And then our smallest box. Will you look at that? Let's see. Uh, Corbin? So, is that SFIC? Small format? I mean, that's not... Is it big enough to be LFIC? I don't know. Oh, I see some keys hidden down at the bottom there, too. Let's see what else we got. Corbin Russwin. He's got that one picked. Unless... I'm not hearing anything. Does that one just not have pins? Hmm. Let's see, another Corbin. Of 
Corbin Russ win again. And again, huh. That one, you can see the top, it's, it's empty. But that one, it's not, it's not empty there. Oh, but I see, when you turn it far enough, looks like things can fall out. Uh, Corb went, Corbin Russwin. That one, I can see a pin inside of, though. Another Corbin. It appears to be pinless. Ah, he's giving me a holder for them too. And some Corbin Russwin keys. Blanks. Those don't, of course not. That would be too easy and he never, ooh, something feels jammed up and they're, they're oh, off camera. There we go. Okay, so it fits all of them. So, let's bring you down here a second. So, there we go. Some nice Christmas goodies, some puzzles, a slider lock, and some interchangeable format, whatever type they are. Uh, Corbin and Corbin Russwins to... Uh, to play with and to try to figure things out. Jakuka, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is a Merry Christmas for sure. Um, if you see this, I'm gonna have to get you to explain to me what's going on with these, if these are just for cutting apart and figuring out, or you just happen to have them throw them in. I'm definitely gonna have to ask you about that. <sighs> really hoping I can get somewhere with the sliders, but definitely a great Christmas. And uh, now my wife has to compete with that. I'm sure I'll hear about it. Anyways, thank you again. Merry Christmas to one and all. Hope yours is good. Love to see what other lock and picking goodies the rest of you all get. I'll talk to you all later. All right, guys. Well, it is the next day, and... I got my next package. Um, this is what I got from winning Roy Salmon's giveaway. Um, I've only cut it open so not to mess with that on camera because I'm afraid this might take too long anyways. In fact, I'm gonna be honest with you, already got the next battery ready to rock in case anything dies here. So, let's go ahead and get into this. I, uh, I have a little bit of trepidation because I chose um, for the uh, lock on the case Because he said that he would let the winner choose whether the lock was on the case or in the case I decided to be something of a masochist I guess and I went on the case. Let's see what else we have I know he said he was sending in some stuff that I think this came from Peter Lewis aka the king of Ireland And we've got Ilko. Can you see very well in there? Is that wafers? Nice pop to it. Nothing really to see down in there, but old locks are always fun. We've also got, looks like we'll go ahead and pull out the knife. And I just recently refound this one, which is just fun to flick open. Not something I normally carry, but I have it handy just because I was opening up that box. And oh, one of these cabinet lock, probably a lever lock style, but with the post there. So that will be a fun challenge also. But let's get into the point of all of this with the wonderful EDC kit he put together. Let's aim ourselves down a little bit more because I'm working way out there. 
this great blue case. And of course, Roy Salmon and Roy Salmon, because we've got to have our Roy Salmon goodies everywhere, right? So, we threw this Berg Wacker on here. I've never picked one like this, but from some research done beforehand, I'm assuming this is something like the Avis Titanium, which I received once upon a time from Lady Locks. So I've done some playing with that to try to be ready for this get in here. Just picking my tools, picking my tools. I've got a uh, little bitty top of keyway tensioner here. I'm going with a Sparrows really short hook. Hmm. Maybe just go ahead and stick that bottom of the keyway. Like that. Let's try something else. Is that keyway? It looks like I really want to go the bottom of keyway just to leave me room for picking from the top where the pins are. There we go. The Allen wrench. So here we go. Maybe that feels pretty in control. Some false set going on, maybe. Can be honest. This is the whole reason I got the extra battery. This is what I wondered if I made a mistake in choosing to have him throw it on. But hey, what's life without a little risk and adventure, right? Hmm. I if I want to go the other way around, maybe? I switch things up too much, too often. I don't have a set direction. And I say that as I'm still thinking about trying left-handed for Nick's picks, although I have not done that yet, and I don't think now is the time. Got some pretty serious tension on here, because that's the way I usually have to do with the Titan, and I did it. Whew! Good to have that pressure off. We'll definitely have to spend some more deliberate time with that little guy later. Now it is time to see. It's time for the mystery to be revealed. You know what? This little badge there. I'm betting it goes this way. Here we go. First time anybody other than Roy Sammons knows what's in here. And he has loaded it. Super huge congratulations for winning the Christmas giveaway. And man, what a giveaway it looks like we've got here. So in the top, we've got a Roy Salmon's sticker. Roy Salmon's badges. I love Locksport, and will you look at that? I've got my very own badges now. I've got no stickers, nothing else, but now I've got a little something. Thank you, Roy. That right there, I don't know if anything else in there is going to touch me quite as much as that. I actually feel a little choked up having no swag until now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And another Roy Salmon's key ring. I am just a picky guy. It's supposed to be an EDC kit. So we've got all right, a multi-tool pen. I know I've, I've seen these before. Um, the rulers on them. Is it a pen? Is it a pencil? A uh, ruler and a level. That is definitely a clever little bit. We've got... Alright, now these are definitely things I do not have. My very first traveler's hook for 
Lloyd and Latches. In addition to what are these? Dental picks. These look like some of those soft shackle things. Is that I'm wondering if that yeah, I think you know I said dental picks. This is what I get for not looking first. These two look like these might be broken key extractors. Now that's something I do not have. Greatly appreciate. We've got, I'm not gonna pull this one all the way out at the moment, but it looks like, a bunch, okay, no, I will. I will pull it out all the way. We've got jiggler, jiggler, jigglers, jigglers for automotive, automotive, or at least double-sided wafers, I guess I should say. A couple, it's just the two set for um, worded locks and some jigglers. I'm wondering if this is a cross-lock jiggler. I have one cross-lock and I wonder if that would fit in there. I will have to try. All right, we've got H and H jackknife set. Very nice. Love, love the metal body there. Of course, smearing it up with my fingerprints already. There's a part of me that wants to take and play with every single part as I find it. Another part just wants to keep digging because I can see there's so much more. That one we'll play with later. What else do we have? We've got a pair of padlock shims. I don't have any of those. That'll definitely be nice. We've got, you know what? Those are going to be the keys for that Berg. And those low in the back. I don't know how well it's showing up there. Sorry. I am so excited about all this that I'm not showing you guys well. Here we go. Low in the back, high in the front. So I probably just had to get the pick in there just the right angle and that probably did things. We've got some tension bars, Z bar. I've been playing with Dimple and I don't have anything like that. In addition to some comb picks. I've wanted to make some or get some and that that right there would definitely be nice to play with. And the thing that I was most hopeful for because he's had them before and I really want to make a set is Roy's covert lever picks or lever picks if you prefer. So it looks like we've got these handles for a couple different wires. We have his various tensioners. It's all, all fantastic and wonderful. Love it, love it, love it. So he's got a bunch of the bent nail type where he cut the groove in them. Does he have, ah, he does have that right there. Oh, is this one of those that are set up so you can almost do like a two in one? Almost out of time. But I wonder. No, not quite. Close, but not quite. And I've got a couple lever locks that I've been able to do nothing with. So that is all. Wow, that is fantastic, Roy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I might wait till after Christmas to show my wife so that way she's not comparing everything that she got to me for me to all of these goodies and of course yesterday's goodies. Wow, what a happy lock picking Christmas this is. I hope yours is every bit as great. I look forward to seeing everybody else's loot. And with that, I will talk to you all later.